Hello, I am Alexis Schmitz and I am with Unique. I am a pink status leader with Unique. Um, and I wanted to make this video, my lipstick's coming off right there. Um, I wanted to make this video to tell you guys why I joined this business and what my story is. Um, and the reason why I joined this business is I've actually wanted to join this business for like two years, two years. And, um, I just didn't want to do it. I just kept saying, God, I would love to do what they do. I would love to have that lifestyle. And let me tell you, let me remind you that I previously had done a different business with it works twice in my lifetime um, and I tried hard with that business and it just didn't get anywhere I wasn't happy I would wake up and be like oh my god like I have a headache from yesterday dealing with all this with you know getting people to try these products and half the time the products and half the time the products didn't really work for me so why sell and be behind a company if the products weren't working for me. Why would I want to sell it to other people? So that was my past. So I kept talking to my boyfriend about like how I've always wanted to join Unique and I've been wanting to do it for so long. And I was like, I just cannot go live. Like going live is a no breaker. Like I'm not doing it, not happening. If they didn't have to do lives, then I definitely would do it, okay, okay. Um, but I definitely obviously got over that fear because I kept saying if I'm gonna hold myself back from bettering myself all because I was afraid to go live on my Facebook Like no, I'm not going to stop that from bettering my life my children's lives and my family's life um, It all is in your head when you tell yourself that, well, I'm not gonna go live, or I don't, oh God, I do not know how to put makeup on like that girl, like I cannot do it. Those are just barriers of you telling yourself you can't do it. You can't do that. You are not gonna go live. You can't do that makeup like her. You don't have a setup like this person. You don't have this, you don't have that, you don't have this. All of that keeps building up, building up, building up, building up until the point of you saying, well, I have more negatives than I have positives, so I might as well not do it. And that's how it's going to go. You're not going to do it. You're just going to say whatever. But no, the thing is, you need, don't mind my broken nail. <laughs> you need to jump out of your box. You're so comfortable in your box that you don't want to move but honey you need to jump out of that box and be a surprise and surprise the hell out of everybody you need to do it for you don't listen to all those negative people saying you're not going to make it far you're not going to be able to do good you're not going to do this you're not going to do that you know what prove them wrong those are just negative people that you're going to have to cut out eventually because they're the ones bringing you down. They're being like the devil. The devil is telling you in your head, in the back of your head, you have the devil saying, hey, you can't do that. You're not going to make a living or you're not going to make any money or you're not going to impact anybody's lives. Oh, uh, no. Block all that out. Push him away and let God guide you to where you need to be because you want to listen to him you don't want to listen to the devil because you're not going to go anywhere with the devil you're going to be in a dark place and you don't want to be there so if you honestly just sit and wait for the perfect time because you may think you don't have the money there's ways around that you think you're you don't know how to put makeup on there's ways around that you feel like you're not going to be successful well you will all it takes is for you to take that leap, get your kit, and take that run, and run with it, and don't be scared. You're not going to be alone. You're going to have me there to guide you, to train you, to get you where you need to be with me, and I can do that. We can hold hands and do that together. All it takes is 
for you to show up every single day and have heart. And if you have t both of those, you can do this and you can do anything because you want to know what? You are worthy and capable of doing anything you put your mind to. If, it, if it's this business, if it's you starting a new sport, if it's you moving to a different city, anything, you are worthy and you are capable of doing anything you put your mind to. And if you work hard enough, you will get there. It all takes you getting out of your box and running for it. And if you are not going to run, you're not going to go anywhere. That's why I'm telling you this because if you are like me and you sit back and you just watch all those girls, hey, hey, you see them being successful and you're like, good, I want to do that. I wish I could do that, but you're just this girl, you know, too good. Sitting back, working her, you know, miserable job or she's a miserable stay-home mom and doesn't know what to do. This is going to be you. This is going to be you sitting there watching everybody have a wonderful life and go on vacations and have nice vehicles and, you know, brags about all this stuff. And you're like, whatever, girl. Like, like she's just another girl living her life and I wish I could do it. Do it. You can do it. Everybody starts from the bottom. All those girls that made it to the top, honey, did not just start from the top. They started from the bottom from nothing. You don't need a fancy setup. You don't need a fancy backdrop. You don't need a fancy ring light, honey. Like, I like the natural lighting way better than the ring light. Now, if I need to work at night and do lives, then yeah, I need the ring light. But reason why I like to do I like to do it during the days because I love natural lighting it really shows off the makeup it this is a real like hi <laughs> like no edit here um but you need to do what you love and if you do what you love you are going to do amazing things honey like this I totally got off track <laughs> totally got off track but that is me I'm a squirrel and you guys know that I get off track but the reason why I did this for me was because I would wake up this was before unique like I would wake up and be like oh, I didn't want to wake up I was doing the same thing over and over again and I was like I don't even have a hobby like dude I don't even know what I like to do Cause I'm always with the kids. Like I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I like to do. Like I don't have a hobby. I'm not crafty. Like I'm not gonna do scrapbooks. Like that's just not me. I'm not an artsy girl. I don't like painting. Like all that's not for me. And I'm like, what am I gonna do? I like knew there was something out there for me. And right. And I kept seeing unique girls popping on my Facebook, popping up, popping up, popping up. And I'd watch them. I'd watch them for years and years and years. I'd watch my leader for years. And I'm like, dang, like. I, w I, I, I wish I could do that. And you want to know what got me is that I kept thinking about it every single day. So if you wake up every single day thinking about the same thing over and over and over, that's a sign from God, from up above, him telling you that's your calling. You need to do it. That's for you. You need to do it. You need to jump out of your comfort zone. And I kept saying like, oh my God, like maybe I could do this. Like, you know, maybe I could do this. And you know what? I lived my life from the rock bottom. I have lived days where stuff was shut off. Power was shut off. We had evictions coming up. We had barely had food. Like... I've been to the very, very bottom, and I never want to be in that place ever again. And this is the reason why I'm doing this, because I'm going to make sure that my family and myself have everything and everything, and they never have to worry about being that low. Even though they don't know that, but it hurts you as a mom knowing that you're not doing the best that you could. So, the big reason why I'm doing this is for my children and for myself to find who I am. And I'm finding who I am 
because I'm finding out that I love to help women feel beautiful and make them feel confident and make them feel worthy because there's so many shitty people in this world that tear us down. And knowing us women, we're going to listen to everything and anything that's coming negative our way. We're going to think it. But what we need to do is stop thinking that stuff and just surround ourselves with positive people. And when you surround yourself with positive people and positive things, your life changes so much that you're going to be like, oh, like, where have you been all my life? Like, why was I listening to all those negative people? And there's, everybody's going to have their own story. And I feel like I keep getting off subject, but like, Everybody's going to have their own reason why they want to do this business or why they want to make their own money. You're not, you're going to make yourself rich. You're not making somebody else rich. Why not retire your husband in five years compared to you trying to retire yourself when you're like seven years old? If even you can retire this in this world anymore, you never know. So... Having this own business, you have your security of being okay in the future. You're going to be okay. Nothing is forever. All you have to do is change it. If you don't like how your life is right now, change it. Try different things. You never know. You never know what your life or what you can do as a person. I mean, I never thought in the years that one I would have three kids two I never thought that I would be my own boss doing what I'm doing I oh my god no I am a very shy person I don't like to be outgoing and all that stuff like that I'm kind of like staying in the back observate everybody you know and then kind of work my way in but from this business I grew so much and I want to help other people grow. I want to help other people feel beautiful. I want to help other people not be where I was in my past. I don't want them to scrap money just to make it to the end of the week. You don't want to live your life like that every single day, do you? Do you want to live your life every single day fighting because of money situations or fighting because you're depressed that you just want to take your kids to the Monkey Joe's is a jumping place here in Wisconsin. You want to take them there, but you can't because you have no extra money because you need to save for bills. Do you want to live your life like that every day? Because I sure don't. I sure don't. All it takes is courage and heart. You have all the training in the world. For you it's just how you take it all we need is some Jesus lots of Jesus and some personal development I heard this from somebody and I it really sunk into me and I was like oh my god if you really work on yourself and you pray you will have amazing things coming to you no you will have amazing, amazing, amazing things coming your way because one, you are praying to God. You are telling him what you need and what you want and what you deserve that you think you have because you deserve the world. And if you do personal development, you will see yourself grow into a person that you're like, holy crap, who the hell is it? Hey girl, hey, like, hey, I wish I seen you. I wish I had you all year long. Um, but you really just need to change your mindset because our mindset holds us back from so many different opportunities. So once you change your mindset, honey, you will see a whole different girl inside coming out. Um, so like I said, I am totally off subject. But my why, like I told you, is I'm not, I found my calling. I didn't know, I didn't have a hobby. I didn't know what I was supposed to do in life. I did, I literally did not know, I literally did not know what I was going to do in my life. I really didn't. I thought I was just going to be the stay-at-home mom that just takes care of their kids all the time. And I didn't, I wasn't happy like that, no. So, I found my calling. 
I didn't want to live paycheck to paycheck anymore. I didn't want to scrap for money for food. I didn't want to do all those things. And that's real life. A lot of people don't like to tell people stuff like that because it's embarrassing. Yes, it's so embarrassing because you feel like you're just not doing good enough for yourself. You're not doing good for your kids. But you know what? You are trying your hardest. And that is why I'm doing this because I'm trying my hardest to never, ever get in that such, sorry, get in that situation ever again. I'm never putting myself in that situation ever again. And by you telling yourself that, you are going to never go down that road again because you are telling yourself you deserve better and you deserve more. Reason why I'm doing this business is so I can be a better person and be a better mom for my ch or be a better mom for my kids. Being a mom is not easy. It tears us down. It's it's a rewarding job, but it also is very tiring and really drags us down sometimes because we we have so many people that tell us, "Oh, if you yell at your kids, you're a bad mom," or "If you do this, you're a bad mom," or "If you feed your kid pizza for breakfast, you're a bad mom." We're not all those organic moms that are just like, you got to have this, 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 this. No, we're not all like that. Like, we're all trying our best here to get through it. But you know what? If you surround yourself with positive women in a good mindset, you can, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to skyrocket in your life. You are going to skyrocket. If you like feel like you have no friends, you have no confidence, this opportunity is going to uplift all that you are going to feel yourself again you are going to feel like you have people behind your back because before you felt like you've had nobody in your court and now you have a bunch of women there are women that i've never even met and i know i could go to them for anything i've never even met them in real life yet but that's what i'm saying like if you surround yourself with positive women you're not going to be alone you're you're going to be okay you're you're going to be set so by doing all this you're going to be a way happier person you're not gonna this lipstick's really you see this that's really bothering me so hopefully it's not bothering you huh <laughs> but anyways um i feel like this didn't go how I wanted it to go because I just want to strictly be with my why. But you know what? You know, I'm off track and I'm a squirrel, so it's okay. Um, but honestly, is I want everybody and everybody out there to know that you are good enough. You are worthy. You can do anything you put your mind to as long as you work for it. You're not going to be successful if you just do here and there. You need to be here every day showing up even if you don't want to. There are days where I don't want to, but I do it for me and my kids. For me and my family. You can do it as long as you switch that mindset over and be that encouraging, powerful person that you know you are. Bring her out. Bring her out of her box and let her shine because, honey, you will be thanking me later on about it. Trust me. You'll be thanking me. But, um, 